something in us that keeps us all moving something that keeps us asking for more something in us that tells us one is not enough this is not enough what i have is not enough and i surely want more this is exactly what is happening with the automobile industry everyone wants cars not one car but cars not small cars but large cars if the pocket can buy it then it shall be bought and that is why we are living in a world which can be aptly called bumper to bumper Imagine waking up to a world with no noise on roads, with zero emissions coming out of tailpipe. Imagine driving guilt-free. They are coming, the electric cars. The end of stones never brought us to the end of stone age. Similarly, it is not the end of oil that will bring us to electric vehicles. It is a conscious effort that has to happen in time. The problem with oil is the way it is distributed across the globe. Even the most developed economies like the US have to import about 2/3 of their requirements from the oil-rich countries. And the major issue is that the people with oil do not like us. This is one of the most successful mass market hybrid in the world, the Toyota Prius. When this came into existence, the battery technology was only just taking baby steps, and thus Prius used whatever good was available, unaware that best was yet to come. It were these the nickel metal hydride batteries that power the Toyota Prius and have powered 2 million hybrid vehicles across the globe but they had two major letdowns firstly the cost and secondly the energy density when you stack these batteries up together and they weigh 600 kg they only give a range of about 100 to 150 km which was a major letdown and that is why they came across this portable cheap and easily available lithium ion batteries that provide you higher range and lower charging time lithium ion thus turned out to be the best solution on the chart however depending on what the manufacturers want to deliver and at what cost they may resort to different technologies For example, the Indian Mahindra Riva priced at a ballpark of 4 lakhs has a lead acid battery pack which gives it a range of 81 km in full charge and a top speed of 81 km an hour. The Tesla Roadster which stands at the pinnacle of electric car technology has 6800 of lithium ion batteries. When stacked together, they weigh 450 kg and have much higher energy density, thus giving Roadster a range of jaw-dropping 480 km. Impressive. A sophisticated battery pack does not spell the end of our problems. In fact, it's first the beginning of a whole lot of others. Where will we charge these batteries? Where is the infrastructure? Who pays for the infrastructure? It has a chicken and egg problem. Who comes first? the EVs or the charging points. Now you would probably think, why don't we charge the EVs at home just like we charge our mobile phones? Tokyo Electric Power Company thought the same. They deployed battery charged electric vehicles as part of their fleet with sole provision to charge at home, and the worried drivers brought back their vehicles for charging with 50% of charge available. This is aptly called range anxiety. However, after the stations were installed at a few points, the same drivers felt confident and kept on driving for much longer because they knew they could top off on the way. Thus, the importance of infrastructure cannot be overlooked. Charging points can be of two kinds: yeah. uh, quick charge, yeah. where in less, let's say half an hour, you fill up 60-70 percent of your charge and get on your way. and a full charge uh, home, which home once home. you get home and park right. the car at night then you charge for several hours yeah. so so during the day if you need to sort of fill up the juices into the battery yeah. you will do it by a quick charge station right. and that's how it works so we have technology for both quick charge as well as uh, uh, full charge full I'm very, very uh, uh, enthused by what is happening. Uh, there is tremendous support that I have seen uh, uh, in the meeting that I have attended uh, at, in various ministries. And if this happens, I think uh, it will be one of the biggest uh, paradigm shift that could happen in the mobility industry in India. But ultimately, the electricity to run these electric vehicles comes from burning coal or renewable sources of energy. 
So we haven't attained complete freedom from them. We haven't shown you the complete picture then. There is something else to it. So here's the million dollar question. Are EVs really the future? There's a lot of controversy on this and uh, there you will have uh, very strong passionate arguments on both sides. Uh, I believe yes. Uh, the reason I'm saying it is the following. First, if you look at emission, you're taking emission away from highly polluted areas and taking it into area where it's much better controlled because you have all kinds of things that you will do of ensuring that the pollution does not become contaminating for the local area. To overall CO2 consumption, uh, if you do a uh, well to wheel calculation uh, of overall CO2 consumption, uh, depending on who you believe, uh, you still see a 25 to 30% benefit in total CO2 consumption uh, in uh, using electric vehicle. Okay. You control what is the input, what is the natural resource that you, you want to consume uh, for this and with time uh, not today but with time the solar panels could become a hybrid for electric oh. so it could become solar hybrid uh, solar electric, electric hybrid oh. once the solar panels come and become a little cheaper then electric vehicles could also have solar panels and therefore some of the charge will happen by renewable sources and some happen will with your uh, power generation. The peak oil age has already passed us so there's no point holding on to oil and saying hey don't move my cheese because the cheese has already been moved. A lot may have to lose in this transition, but the change is happening. Electric vehicles, they're not coming. They're here. And we are sitting on a junction of the Gandhian era, where one path leads to develop and the other to die.